Welcome back. It's Andrew, your crypto guy on the internet. And it's been about a month since I showed you my yellow X strategy using Market Cipher. I doubled my account within one month, made that video, and then doubled it again in the next like seven or eight days. And I called up Crypto Face and he watched the video and he said it was a great strategy for a sideways choppy market or a slightly bullish market. Now we had been in that kind of scenario for the past few months so it felt like i was cheating i was making so much money and then he says but what if we get a big dump like a bad one then what because no strategy works in every scenario and i thought about that there has to be a way to adjust it no matter what's going on because a big dump is what we got at the very end of september into october 1st we got a one-two punch of nasty news stories. Now, there's a clear difference between a nasty news story and a news story that doesn't matter. I'll tell you right now, 99% of the news does not matter when it comes to trading. Localized tragedies, uh, a school shooting, like there's a tsunami in Florida or an earthquake in Idaho... Uh, abortion rights, like who's the candidate, what the speech is, some new scandal in the... no one, None of that matters at all. The only stories that affect us are ones that scare everybody in the United States. A story that would scare a normie anywhere in the U.S. If you're a post office worker, you're an HR lady, the kind of story that frightens you no matter where you are in the United States specifically. And we got two of them. First, all the eastern ports are closed. You're not getting your presents or your bananas. People freak out. And then the same day, bam, Iran sends missiles into Israel. And so we're going, uh-oh, World War III, and I can't get my food. That's really bad. And then Jerome Powell came out, and he, you know, he did the best he could. So both of those happened at the same time, and we went from a ho-hum market to a, oh, like real fast. And I was already in some of these yellow X positions. I was in four of them, kind of getting heavy. This is usually when I would start to cash out, okay? But then we got that mega dump. And Bitcoin fell 8%, but the altcoins fell even further. They fell real bad, like down 20% some of these things, some of them more. And I was taken by surprise. I had not used that strategy in that kind of environment so two of my trades, I had to let them go. I got liquidated. I took some serious damage. But the other two, I kept afloat. Because I looked outside, and the sky had not turned red with atomic bombs, so I knew we're all still here, okay? And in three or four days, uh, you know, they worked out the strike. You know, it's postponed. They, they're going to work something out. Okay, no big deal. And then people forgot about Iran and Israel again like they always do. And Jerome Powell's like, yeah, hey, you know, I'm... <laughs> and we're right back to business as usual. So normally, a yellow X strategy takes one to three days on the one minute. I've been doing this on the one minute exclusively lately, not so much the five. On the one minute, the yellow X strategy clears in like one to three days, especially if you're going into a weekend, like three days. But this one took about two weeks. And so... I got liquidated out of two of my four positions, taken by surprise. But the other two, I held on, rode them all the way back up, made back all of my losses, and then some. So I actually did, I came out clean on the other side by sticking to the strategy with a slight adjustment. And the adjustment was, instead of adding to my position every 2%, like I said in the first video, if you're in a mega catastrophic dump scenario, you add every 4%. That's what I did on the last two that I had going. And uh, now these were not done with Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin doesn't move that much. But I was in a, a bunch of different altcoins. And, uh, you know, like Injective and Omni and Tia. Like, look at Celestia. This is me going, ah! like, alone in my apartment freaking out. Okay, so <laughs> this is October 1st. You're going to see a very similar pattern play out across all these coins. So we fell... All the way here, about 20% from October 1st. The first couple days were super brutal, right? And uh, I kept adding all the way down. So my average buy-in price was right around here somewhere. Like 482, 483, something like that. 
I wrote it all the way back up, so I was clearly in the green at this point. Making good money. So I took out 75% of my position, watched the price tank again, I added a little more down here again, and then wrote it all the way back up. I mean, we cleared this one, I, got, I was tempted to leave. I was tempted to leave. But I kept it. I was like, look, I already took the lion's share. I'm just going to let this ride. See if we can actually hit this target that I set way back here on uh, September 27th. We did it. So I took all the money and ran. But the next target is up here at 715 for Celestia. And I'm looking at these other coins because when you see a mega dump from Bitcoin, it leads the charge and everybody else does something very similar. So here's Avalanche, big old Dumperino, October 1st, all the way down, 16% or so. And it started setting up some yellow X's, so we got one here and then one here. Now I can't scroll back this far on the one minute chart, just know that I marked this on the one minute. And when the price action passes through that yellow line, that's me taking profit. So I left it, once it's cleared I should take this off, you know, because it's done. But I left them on so I could show you how often this succeeds. So if I set a target back here, and it takes a while, boom, but it does happen. So in your dollar cost averaging, as things tank, it does come back up. It has to clear that yellow X. And the one time it revisits it, you take it off. Boom, it's gone. It's done. This one set up a new yellow X right here that was cleared real quick. So the next targets for Avalanche are... 3030 30 and 3055. That's where I'm looking for Avalanche. Floki. This was this uh, took a major dive bomb. This is a, a meme coin, right? Down 20% like everybody else. And then set a yellow X, cleared it. So you, I'm already in the profit because I was already down here. Just adding, adding, adding. In the profit, took some of the position out. Wrote it up, fell back down, added a little more. Wrote it back up to this first target, well, I'm sorry, this target here, I took out my money. But we still had another target up here that we just tapped, getting rejected a little bit, but the last target for Floki is 17 even. So 0 0.00017, tiny numbers, but uh, that's still another 9.5% jump from where we are right now. Injective, clearing targets, but we do have one all the way up here set on October 1st. That was that mega dump. So some coins catch up faster than others. And there is a way at a glance to kind of see uh, who's going to catch up earlier. But Injective in particular ran into its June monthly anchor here. And so we got rejected here. I know we're going to go back to 2380. Okay, if, if history is any indication, these yellow X's all must get cleared. This is a one minute chart yellow X that was marked here. We're looking at it on the one hour. So this has been sitting there, gosh, for two weeks. So this is extraordinarily long to wait for a one minute yellow X. But we got some, the worst news you can get, okay? And uh, if you're dollar cost averaging into these things going every 4% after a major dump, you're already in the green, but you want it to come all the way back up here. You just have to be patient. It's going to get there. Chain link. Same old W. Look at this. the same thing across all these coins, man. Here's your dump uh, October 1st. To recover that is uh, the price is 1213. We also have another uncleared yellow X set on September 28th. That's 1284 is the highest target for Link. Stacks. We cleared one locally. My next target is 193. Ton coin is a little slow. But here's that same dump, October 1st, our targets to clear are uh, 578 and 574. We got a closer one at 555 if you want to take a little bit of profit out of your position. But at a glance, if you're not the best chartist in the world, uh, and you see a setup for yellow X's across like 20 different coins, you, you can only do like two of these at a time usually, so which ones are you going to pick? I like to pick something with a stronger chart, stronger technicals. So like a uh, ton coin, for instance, weak. Just at a glance. If you don't feel like zooming out and analyzing stuff, you look down here. And this is the kind of not doing so well. So it's going to take longer to clear that X. But if you see something like Turbo, Turbo is on the buy end. 
And look at that, jeez. This one's been just crazy. So it took a 20% dump like everyone else on October 1st and recovered its, its target already and then surpassed it, set some new ones, blew those away, set some new ones, passed right through there. And now, I mean, Turbo's beyond the moon at this point. I'm just waiting for it to dump and set some new X's for me. So if I look at the one minute chart, there's nothing going on for the yellow X strategy. It's, our, it's already been cleared out. So I'm waiting on Turbo to come back down to give me some fresh action. How's Whiff doing? This is the one minute chart for Whiff. We got a fresh yellow X set up here. Now, I just wanna go over this one more time so you guys know uh, what's a yellow X to look at and, and which, which ones you ignore. So when the price returns to the yellow X, it is considered cleared and we then ignore it from then on. It doesn't matter at all. And the way to uh, chart it or to, where to put your line is at the very top of that candle body. So you see that yellow X? Don't put your line in the middle of the candle at the bottom or above it or over here somewhere. The very top of the candle. Boom. And then look, does anything touch it or almost touch it? I would, I would venture to say that this could be a target, but it's not obvious enough. This is a maybe target, so I don't, I don't know about that one just yet. This, this similar scenario here too, see that yellow X? You got that wick that touched it, that's no longer uncleared in my eyes. I need something that has not been touched at all. Do we have something like that recently at the very end that maybe we can use? Oh, yes, we do. Look at that. I already marked it. At the top of that candle, right at the top of the wick there, nobody home. No one's touched this yet. So our local target for whiff is 280, but I'm not going to enter this yet because it's not juicy enough. You know, I don't, give, I don't care about 0.8%. I want to see a mega dump from an uncleared yellow X. Like, I'll get interested if it's down to, like, Let's say two and a half, three percent. If the price comes down here somewhere, I'll uh, set an alert. So let's say here, what was that again? Let me measure that one more time. Okay, if it goes three percent down from that yellow X, I will be interested. So give me an alert there. If WIF hits 271, my computer and my phone will ding at me and I'll come in here like a greedy goblin and throw a couple hundred bucks at it. And then, if it keeps dumping, every like three to four percent, I'll set another alert to add a little more to the position. Okay? So if this is dumping, I'm just adding a little more to the position when it reaches a new low. I'm not gonna add to the position when it's chopping and going up and down and giving me hope and whatever, none of that crap matters. I have my end goal already set. I know where the price will go. Now I just have to get the best entry price, get as low as possible. That's the whole thing. So if I'm looking at Omni, how's this chart been doing? I've actually taken some money here, man. Whew, okay. Going back, this is the dump October 1st. Everybody else got hit just like Omni. How did she do? Fell 18.5% and then eventually down 20.5%. Man, that was a big hit. But we set some yellow X's up on the way down. Barely touched one, touched it again, uh, not cool, uh, finally broke through. And we hit the second target, but look at how long that took. 13 days. So, if you're dollar cost averaging every few percentage points, every three or four percentage points, you jump in, you see an uncleared yellow X and you enter a little below at like two and a half, three percent, right? So your first entry is right here. And then you're adding again here, here, here. So your average buy price after, if it keeps going down like major percentage points like this, your average buy price ends up being super low. Like, let me try to mark it with a different color for you. It's like right around here somewhere. And I just, I don't add a ton of money. I add just a little bit. Like if I'm willing to throw like a thousand dollars at a trade, I'm putting like 150 bucks in at a time. And I don't use the whole 1,000 most of the time. It's like I'm halfway there and I got like 400 bucks or something in it. And it comes back and hits my target. Great, easy money. But if it goes real deep, like if it's a bad one, I'm all right. I got my $1,000. I'm up to like 850 or something has been used and we're all the way down here. And it comes back up. It hits our yellow X target, clears it. 
I take my money and laugh, and uh, I just clear out these lines because they're already done. But I left them up because I'm doing so many of these, and I wanted to show you guys. So, um, with Bitcoin, you obviously aren't going to dollar cost average after a 4% drop. I mean, that, that very rarely happens for Bitcoin. Usually, so cut these in that half. Like, if it dumps 1%, 1.5% on a yellow X one minute, that's a pretty big move. You could use the yellow X strat then. But I do it mostly on altcoins on the one minute. And right now I'm just looking for some fresh setups. I got a couple still floating around. Like I said, chain link. My target there has, uh, my big target's already been hit, but my next one is way up here, like 12, 13, yeah. So it's, it's the same strategy. You're gonna see a, a bunch of them pop up all at the same time. Then just look at your technicals, pick one that's a little stronger, that's in the buy end. If you're, if you're trying to choose like one or two out of 10 setups that you're seeing, um, just go with one that's a stronger buyer because it'll recover faster from, from what I've noticed. Keep an eye on Jerome Powell and what he's doing with the uh, the CPI data and stuff that matters. That's a big story that affects everybody. And then keep an eye out for end of the world stories, not stories that they try to get you riled up about that people just forget in 24 hours because those, those ones don't matter. So the yellow X strategy is still the best one I've ever tried. You just have to adjust it if things get mega dumpy. Just change from 2% to 4%. And hold on, baby, because it always gets cleared. So the yellow X strategy, again, only works with Market Cipher. And there's a link to it in the description below with my little referral code. If you click that and get Market Cipher, they know that you showed up from Crypto Guy OTI's channel, and that helps me out a lot. I would appreciate that. But until the market shows me that this yellow X on the one minute doesn't work anymore, I'm just going to keep my own money printer going. I was thinking about maybe buying a new couch. A new one. Not a couch that I just found somewhere. A new nice couch. Maybe some shoes that are comfortable. How about, uh, you know, my kitchen is from the 70s. How about I update that to like 1995 kitchen? Ooh, I'm going to keep doing this yellow X money printer until they show me I can't. And I want you guys to make easy, fun money as well. Now, this strategy, I've laid it out in the first video uh, pretty clearly, and we did more of it this time. If you have any questions about it, just message me in the comments. There are no stop losses, because where your stop loss would be, down like 20 30%, that's when you're going to add more to the position. So it's totally different than every other trading strategy, but we do know half of the equation. Like, I know where the price will go. We have it marked right here because of that yellow X. So all we got to do is just get the best entry possible underneath it. And then we, when we reach that target, you cash out the treasure. That's all it is. So have a great weekend, guys. Make that money.